Nah, this isn't challenging me. I'm bored. I'm in a rut. I need something new. <laughs> oh, rut. You know, I was beginning to think you forgot about me, eh? You don't write. You don't call. Get out of here. What are you doing here? What, are you spying on me now? I was in the neighborhood, and, uh, I heard you needed a challenge. How about a tournament? A tournament? Yeah. You know, there are others that wield your power, taking one and turning it into another. Others who wield my power, yeah? Who? Who are they? What's this now? What is it? What do you think, this is the Wizard of Oz? It doesn't even work. <laughs> the... They'll show up. They'll show up. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this is my crystal ball. They'll show up. And there they are. From Australia, we got Steve Welsh. From California, Mac Glocky. From Croatia, Dennis Porna. Each vocalist are all gifted in their own right in impersonating other artists, specifically rock and metal singers. I've called on each of them to take on an impossible task. Yeah, and what's that? Well, I'm gonna ask you what I asked them. What would this song, I Want It That Way, sound like in the style of Alice in Chains? None of you will know what the other has written, so you can't steal each other's ideas. You each have 24 hours to complete one minute's worth of music. At the end of it all, you're gonna present your versions to a special guest judge, who's going to decide once and for all who does the best Alice in Chains style ever. And don't you dare skip to the end. Be sure to watch the entire video. Okay. You're on. Perfect. <laughs> Let the fun and games begin. I want it that way. How do we make this sound like Alice in Chains? First thing I'm gonna do is think of an Alice in Chains song that's in a similar BPM. A little like fading guitar. And let it ring. So for this cover, I'm thinking about maybe doing like a down in a hole type of thing. Yeah. Alright, so I'm hearing sort of this. According to bpmdatabase.com, we have Angry Chair is the closest. I'll just reverse them. Maybe treat it as though it's like on the MTV Unplugged album or something. Like utilize a lot of acoustic guitars. Okay. You are my fire, my fire. We need this to kick in with the drums. I'll fix that later. Feel is missing here. Raise the velocity. One crash or cymbal is missing here. Could put that man in the box. Someone get the bass. Yeah, I'll just do it that way because I want it that way, you know. <laughs> How does the chorus go? Tell me why. Tell me why. Ah, now here, Jerry. Tell me why. So a bit of distortion on Jerry's vocals. And that, yeah! That aggression, I think will work quite well. Better than it probably sounds. Are you sure about that? And vocal harmonies, like on the whole thing, pretty much. We're gonna need some reverb, echo, and, and doubling of the voices, voices in harmonies. Tell me why. Like that. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna predict that everyone's gonna do an acoustic song. I don't know, I could be wrong.
Yeah. That right there uh, is one of my favorite runs that Lane ever does. Am I wrong? Before we present this to the special guest judge, let's listen to each version together so you can decide who to like the best. Roll it. This is this is really exciting for me because uh, I have not heard any of this. I've not seen any of your of your versions. This is the first time that I'm seeing it. It's completely authentic. Yep. All right. So here we go. Here's here's Dennis's version. Mine I'm so sucks nervous now. Now. Forget it. I don't even want to. I, can I? I'm a, can I redo mine? You know, I think I'm gonna go redo mine. Bro. Do we have time for that? <laughs> Okay, I see. Wow. I really yeah. like this. I really like this version because I didn't expect so oh, man. that Alice in Chains style. I didn't. I wouldn't have thought to do see, that. This I is actually, like the I acoustic. Thought that, I thought more people were gonna do that. Now it, it makes sense that you did do it like that because it's it's an acoustic so, kind of a soft song to begin with.
It's that like was we're, sick. we're an all different. Uh, what I what I find interesting, we're in all like different eras of yeah. Alice Chains yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah, that was crisp. That was that was fresh. I think this song really should have been an Alice in Chains song. I think that's all this thing proves. <laughs> is that like Jerry exactly. Cantrell actually that, yeah. wrote this song and then just gave it to Backstreet Boys yeah. and they did yeah, what they yeah, wanted yeah. with it. <laughs> and now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Judgment Day is upon us, my friends. And the special guest judge that's going to decide the winner of the best Alice in Chains impression ever is Jonathan Young. Go ahead, tell us, Jonathan, who's the best? You guys all killed it. These all sound amazing. Jumping right into it, uh, I think that each of you nailed something about Alice in Chains and their like history and, and their sound better than everybody else. Dennis, you have that low drawl of that, you know, the grungy voice that Lane always does, like, locked yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you started singing, it was like, man, I, I immediately thought of, like, most verses of Alice in Chains songs. Like the, I guess, the cliche Alice in Chains sort of, like, first verse uh, vocal tone. Um, and the harmonies that you were doing were amazing. Zach... Uh, the guys already mentioned it when they were reacting, but I was just watching one of the MTV Unplugged videos right before I hopped in this call, and you absolutely killed that sound, that acoustic vibe. How you were kind of doing the interplay between the high, gravelly sort of chorus, and then a lot of times Jerry, uh, the guitar player, will like step in and like sing a lower part, and then Lane will do the higher part, and you you definitely captured that. And man, this is tough to pick a winner because you guys all have like a, your own little slice of Alice in Chains. Uh, Steve, man, like I, I'm I'm a little bit torn here because Anthony and Steve, you are my two contenders for winning here to be totally transparent you're 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 the two the f whatever I've, I've never judged anything like this before i don't know what to say i don't know I, I, but i don't you, think you, anybody you two ever are, has. you you two are neck and neck here and 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 let me explain so anthony the chords that you did were fucking brilliant sorry i, I, I might not be allowed to swear you can I'm curse family <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I gave um, up the family friendly thing yeah, a long yeah, time yeah. ago. So yeah, the the chords that you were doing and these the parallel I think it's like parallel fifth harmonies that you're doing, which are like super super grunge, super Alice in Chains, and those somebody I think Steve mentioned it already. Like the I think it was like some diminished chords or something, like some Neapolitan like whatever uh, modal nonsense that you were doing with the um like reharmonizing the so the song into this minor grungy modal key it really shows that you've spent so many years reimagining songs into new genres uh anthony because like a as a cover artist it's hard to deviate from the chords of the song and the melody of the song and it's it sounds like you didn't even blink you were like yeah we're gonna we're gonna change up these chords, and obviously your vocal impressions are on point. But Steve, I think I think I gotta hand it to you 
because as much as Anthony made a lot of really, really, really smart choices with like all these really giga brain reharmonization, the way that you sang that. And the way that you just like immediately, da 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 da, you know, like you're just pulling straight from like what the what the layman knows about Alice in Chains, straight to the point. I'm hearing, you know, Man in a Box immediately. I'm I'm hearing like this the the high, yeah yeah yeah, you know. But you're also doing these low parts that the guitarist would sing. Um, it's the bread and butter of Alice in Chains. Uh, you, in 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 your uh, your rendition, so I think I gotta hand it to you, man. It was it was straight to the point. You cut to the chase, and I immediately was like, "Yeah, that's Alice in Chains right there." So, with all of that said, I am declaring the winner to be Steve. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Good game, everybody. Thank, Good thank game. you. Good game. Now, do you agree with Jonathan Young's decision? Let us know in the comments. Until next time, this is Ten, and you just watched the Tournament of the Voices. Uh, I'll think of something better than that. Take it easy.